In this video, I'm gonna share with you the one simple trick that helps keep me and my law firm 100% virtual. Welcome to Law Venture, a channel devoted to lawyers and future lawyers so you can take your legal career to the next level. My name is Jarrett Stone. I'm the owner of Stone Firm PLLC. Today, I'm your guide to talking about a virtual law firm. In particular, I'm gonna share with you the one simple trick that helps keep me and my law firm virtual. Look, sometimes in life, we make our lives a little bit more difficult simply because we don't know what we don't know. But here at Law Venture, the goal is to change that with videos like this. So I'm hoping with this video, after you learn this simple trick, maybe it'll help you transition from a traditional law firm to a virtual law firm, or maybe it'll spark the inspiration needed for you to go start your own virtual law firm. And either way, I'm gonna share this simple trick by diving into the computer right now. Okay, we are officially in the computer and we are on lawventure.com. By the way, if you wanna check that out, you can get some freebies here. And I wanna scroll down to Virtual Law Firm Ultimate Guide. Check that out if you are interested in either starting a virtual law firm or transitioning into a virtual law firm. One aspect to this Ultimate Guide, I specifically mentioned that I'm a user of G Suite. Now, G Suite is no longer G Suite. G Suite is Google Workspace, which is a absolute game changer for any law firm. Whether or not you wanna be virtual, this is something that I recommend for everyone. And here's why. With Google Workspace, prices aren't anything that are going to you know, break, break the bank by any means. I actually think it's really well priced primarily because what you get with Google Workspace. Not only do you get email with Google Workspace, but you also get Google Drive. And this right here is extremely important. This is actually going to be the heart of the video because with Google Drive, this is what's going to help keep you virtual. Google Workspace also gives you Google Meet, great way to just, you know, have a quote face to face with people. My calendar for my law firm lifestyle, chat function with docs, sheets, and slides. This is the Microsoft equivalent to Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. I'll be honest with you. I purchased the one-off um, Microsoft Word, like bare essential package that I think only includes Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And the reason why I purchased the one-off was I didn't want to pay Microsoft the subscription that is actually pretty pricey. And two, with using docs, sheets, and slides, it's fantastic. I mean, they're, they're great programs. They're easy to convert to all the Microsoft versions of these programs, but they have one limitation that just affects my workflow, which is that with these Google products, you they don't have programs you can download and have them natively installed onto your computer. And by not having the ability to work within a program itself and having to work only through the browser to access docs, sheets, and slides, that is just like, it's a little overwhelming for me personally because I tend to work on, I don't know, like four or five cases kind of at the same time. I hate to say at the same time because obviously I'm not, you know, typing two letters at the same time for two different cases, but Sometimes I'll have, you know, a letter for one client up and then I'll have the file open for another client Then I get a phone call from another client. So I need to pull that up. And in doing so, if it's all on a browser, then all my tabs are just going to go berserk, right? I'm going to have way too many tabs. They're going to get super small and scrunched up up top. I'm not going to know which tab is which, and it's going to be difficult to kind of figure out exactly, you know, where everything is. And I'm just frankly going to be overwhelmed. It's a whole lot easier whenever I'm working with the program, like let's say Microsoft Word. And if I'm needing to transition from Word temporarily to go maybe check email or something, then I can just hide. I can, you know, open Apple, H or command H. I don't know if people still say open Apple. That's, that's just how I was trained. Um, command H and just hide the whole program. So all the letters and word documents, they're hidden, they're gone. That's just a, a quick side note on my workflow, because as we talk through this process, that this workflow is going to, you know, kind of explain the problem that I was facing for a while there. And ultimately, you know, the solution as well. So let's move on. Google forms. 
If you've seen the other Law of Venture content, you know I'm a huge fan of Google Forms. It's how I handle my client's intake or potential client intake. It's absolutely fantastic. I'll slide a link to a video kind of you know talking about my hype around Google Forms. But what I didn't mention in the video that is hopefully sliding right now, I'm gonna tease this. I'm gonna tease it and I hope it makes sense, but it may not. And I may, may need to just flesh this out with the actual video or maybe even a course itself. So basically there's another application called Google Scripts. And with your Google Scripts, you can tell these apps to communicate or to you know transmit information from one to the other. So with a lot of research and a lot of work you know, behind the scenes and Frankly, I'm embarrassed with how much time and energy I put into it, but it helps make my life a whole lot easier. My Google Forms now automatically using scripts, take that information from the Google Forms, automatically generate a Google Sheet, which I then convert to a Microsoft Excel, to where it populates the information that I need within the, the Sheets or you know the Excel. Converting from Sheets to Excel or an Excel to a Sheet, super easy with Google, you know, just, just a quick side note there. As some of y'all may know um, from another video, I use Sheets and Excels in order to basically have a case file. Meaning, let's say within the Excel, there's Sheet number one, which is the basic information of the case. It has all the contact information of the client, has all the contact information of adjusters, um, opposing attorneys. And then there's maybe the second Sheet within the same file, so the second sheet may be my notes. The, the third sheet um, may be the medical bill summary showing all the providers that the you know personal injury client went to, how much they charged and all that. So basically the entire case information is summarized within these sheets or Excels. Um, and so that's why whenever these Google Forms are communicating to the Google Sheets, automatically generating the sheets and automatically putting the information in there, then I basically get kind of, you know, basically get a file for, for my clients, you know, ready to go and already filled out. I want to show y'all how to do that, but that's not for this video. That's, that's for, that's for a later time. If you want me to put that on the front burner instead of the back burner, um, because you think that'll be super helpful for you, let me know in the comments section. You know, sometimes it's the comments that help motivate me to, to prioritize one thing over another. So if, if you're interested in that, just let me know. Now let's kind of start talking about the problem that I faced. You know, these these are my confessions. Um, I originally bought our uh, Google Workspace G Suite um, just for the email alone, but then I didn't necessarily utilize it in order to work from anywhere, in order to be able to stay virtual, in order to back up all my files seamlessly. Instead, I made life so much harder on myself. The best way to show you the problem is probably to give you a specific example. So let's say I received an email of a file. Let's say I download the file to my desktop. If we hop over here, we can see the file titled adorable. Pretty typical situation, right? I get a letter or I get a release that needs to be signed. Then you know I'll open up this particular document. I'll work on it. This folder, or excuse me, this file right here, is saved to my computer. It is not saved on the actual Google Drive. So this is not in the cloud. This cannot be accessed virtually. This is limited in what I'm intending for my law firm to be. So let's say I click open the file and oh, boom, I know what the most adorable thing of this photo is. It's our puppy Mabel, um, center of our world. So let's say in this situation i want to use pdf expert to reduce file size so i come over here bam and that's that's a huge difference right i'm reducing this pdf from 57 megabytes down to 1.7 as a size reduction of 96 percent what i would do back then would save the actual file to the client folder or the client file um and as a result click save again same problem i've finished the document that i need to work on it is saved on the hard drive it cannot be accessed virtually it can't be accessed by other employees can't be accessed by myself from going from the imac that i'm on right now to my laptop can't be accessed from my phone this file lives and dies on the imac right now not good so what I would do back in the day, I would 
and by the way, I'm pausing because I'm, I need to mention that this isn't what your Google Drive is going to look like. It would immediately take you to My Drive. My Drive is basically kind of like, you know, it, it shows all the, the top level folders and then I have subfolders within them. So one of the subfolders that I recently added for the sake of this video is this subfolder, hit the like button. And so at this point in time, let's say we have our file ready to go. And if I want to access it virtually on the phone, on the laptop, then I would just drag and drop. And there it is. There it is. Um, I, you know, and this is great, right? Like, you know, this didn't take long. All I had to do was just drag and drop. But imagine having to do this for every single file throughout every single day. And this is a step that was really bogging me down and I was dreading it. The days would get on top of me. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. And then I'm like, okay, now I have to go back and add these files and I have to go back and overwrite files um, and I have to upload all these things. It was taking way too much time. What's the solution here, right? What do I need to do because this is just horribly inefficient? And the solution is embarrassingly easy. We are at google.com slash drive slash download. Again, this is so easy and I'm embarrassed to say that it took me forever to realize this. You can now download the drive, the Google Drive for your desktop. So all you have to do is click this. It takes you through the typical, you know, get the app up and running prompts that you see. And once you do, you're gonna see something like this. Your Google Drive is gonna show up in your Finder. And keep in mind, I'm on a Mac, so you may see something a little bit different. Um, if you're on a PC, but here you can see that the Google Drive, the cloud that we've been talking about is now integrated with the computer itself. This means that when we're saving things moving forward from this point on, we don't have to do the save to the hard drive and then save to the cloud. Instead, whenever we're in Microsoft Word or Excel or we're in PDF Expert, we can go file say save as we can go directly to the file in Google Drive through your finder. And so in this situation, let's go ahead and save another copy just to show you um, that it's super simple. And we also know that this is the cloud because if you look over here, there's a little icon. That's a uh, that's a cloud helps make it super simple. And then you just click save. Let's hop over to our file within the browser. And there's the copy that we just saved. That added step that was just like this inefficient hurdle, completely resolved. You can save it directly. And so what I recommend is to go to your Google Drive, find the folders that you're using the most often, and then pull those folders and save them here. It's not gonna move the folders by having them saved on the side of your Finder um, within your Mac. And if you're in your PC, I'm sure you can do something similar but it'll allow you to have shortcuts, which, you know, if I need to go to my current clients, I just double click this and then I have the entire list of my current clients in front of me and I can access whatever folder I need to access. Another cool point to really emphasize here is that let's hop back over to our Google Drive within the browser. If we right click it and we go down to share, we can now set the settings for who we wanna share this particular document with. Or if you go to the file itself, then you can share the file and all of its contents with specific people. In this situation, I could type out an email if I wanna share with a specific person, or I could come down here, click that, and then share with anyone who has, has a link to it. And you know, make them a viewer, commenter, editor, control access that way. That's all fantastic. Google Drive, built and integrated into your computer through the app makes that even easier to where you skip the step of having to pull it up on your browser. So again, we're going to right click it quick actions. You see the Google drive little icons showing your options here, share with Google drive, boom, same options that we saw earlier. If we take a look here, you can see other options that are available. For example, offline access uh, you can, you know, change, whatever settings you want to your heart's desire, but this will help keep you not only virtual, but allow other people to access certain things virtually as well, allows you to back up your files, 
and it makes my life so much easier. Okay, so we're now back onto the sales page of Google Workspace. Again, this isn't a sponsored post. Um, instead, I'm like a referral partner or whatever they wanna call it, um, to where I have a code that will save you some money. But first, before talking about that, let's talk about what your options are. I would be looking at the business standard um, if you're making a consideration to you know go with Google Workspace. The reason for that is the business starter only comes with 30 gigabytes of cloud storage. If you have videos and you know your law firm is fairly active, this 30 gigabyte cloud storage is going to get eaten up super quickly. Compare that to 2000 gigabytes, in other words, two terabytes for you know $6 more, and you get you know all these other perks as well, but in the grand scheme of things, I think what we're really concerned about from a law firm perspective is going to be one, getting the email, two, getting all of this, three, having enough storage. So this is the one I recommend just for full transparency. If you use the promotional code that I'll put in the description down below, each promotion code provides 10% off the first year on either the Google Workspace Business Starter Plan, which is the one I don't recommend, not enough storage, and the Google Workspace Business Standard Plan, which is the one I do recommend, two terabytes, plenty of storage. So by using the promotional code down below, not only do you get the 10% off, but you help support the channel. Here's the uh, referral program that I'm a part of. It states here that if you use the business standard, then I get you know $15 per user that ends up signing up, um, up to I think 200 new users per year. So if you wanna buy me lunch, basically, if you, I think $15 will get me a good lunch. That sums up this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, or if you just wanna say hi, leave those in the comment section down below. If you're still hungry for more resources, then I recommend going in the description down below as well. Check out some links to some freebies and some other things that may pique your interest. And if you are still watching, then I'm hoping that means you like the video. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.